Given the competence of their leadership, given the opprobrium in which they are held, given the demands that are being placed upon them, it is hardly surprising that the PCS union that uh, controls the border force is going to strike. What is more surprising, what is more surprising, is that Suella Braverman has decided that hundreds of military personnel will now be drafted in to work as border force guards so that they can fill in for the striking workers uh, under the plans uh, implemented or uh, put into motion by Suella Braverman. So we're now going to see a situation where people will be detained in this country, vulnerable people will be detained in this country and kept under guard by an army. These are people who may well be detaining military uh, situations where they were being held um, in confinement by military in their own country. This is intolerable. This is utterly, utterly intolerable that uh, this is a ministry that is so out of control, utterly, utterly out of control. And it's perfectly reasonable that the army should be thought of as a fourth military service, but it is not acceptable that the army should be used as a temporary employment agency when our own ministry and our own minister has failed to deliver the goods and failed to negotiate properly. I cannot imagine her having a negotiation even to buy an apple. This is a person whose only concept is demand and an imperious um, imperative. This is not somebody who has negotiated anything in her life. I'm so, so ashamed and shocked by uh, this lady and what she is doing. Is she worse than Pretty Patel? Peas in a pod, frankly. Peas in a pod. And it's time that pod was... Well, it's time... Oh, we're mixing so many metaphors. It's time that goose was cooked. <laughs>